Hello, welcome to this channel, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about power supply for CCTV. This is the content of the Ultimate Security Camera Guide. You can find the link here in the description, so go download yours. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave the thumbs up, your comments, and hit the bell notification so you can receive more information about videos like this one. And let's get started with power supply, as you can see here in the screen. I have an example of power supply. There are different types of power supply in the market. This one is a centralized one, so you don't need to go installing power supply camera by camera. You can use a single power supply in a central location and power all your cameras at the same time. In this example here, I have a 12 volts power supply with 10 amps, meaning you can install up to 10 cameras if the camera are using less than one amp okay uh, and there's a calculation for that so you got to learn how to calculate correctly uh, according to the camera you're using so you buy the correct power supply okay in this example here i can just input here in the neutral and the hot to power the power supply of course and then i can use the ground so I can ground the power supply and the positive and the negative I can send to the camera that I have in my system. And make sure you have uh, the calculation right. Let's see here how you can do that. Depending on the camera, you can calculate like this one. Here's an example for a professional camera uh, where I'm using 12 volts for the camera and the power is 4.2 watts. I can find this information here in the camera label, as you can see here, uh, 4.2 watts and 12 volts. And then I can just divide the 4.2 by 12, so I can find 0 0.35 amps. That's the amount uh, of power of the uh, ampere the camera is going to use, okay? Uh, which is the same as 350 milliamps, so I can say 0 0.35 amps, or I can say 350 milliamps. And then now I can have my camera installed. So let's say, for example, I have 16 cameras on my system to connect to my DVR. I just can calculate like that, 16 cameras with 0.35 which one or 350 milliamps. I have a total of 5.6 amps and I have to consider also the capacity that I'm going to use on my power supply, let's say 80% tops. So you can just divide 5.6 by 0 0.80, you have a total of seven amps. That's the total I'm gonna I use on my system. So here I'm good because my power supply is for 10 amps and I'm using here seven tops, okay? So here is, is the way I can connect to my camera. I connect here power, the grounding, and then I connect the cables directly to my camera, positive and negative. And you can, of course, send more cables to more cameras. But there is a professional power supply that you can use that is much better than this one because here you're gonna like have a mess of cable. I don't think this is a good idea. You can have a professional power supply just like this one. As you can see here, you have different connectors for different cameras. You have also the LEDs to show that the camera is on or off and also the fuses. So you have here the PTC fuses. And here is how I can connect my cameras. I just use one cable per camera, one connector per camera, and I have a one LED per camera. So I have control of my system. And also I can use this system to send a little bit extra power to the camera. Let's say the camera is too far away from the power supply. I can come here and give extra power to the, the camera. So this is a pretty good power supply. I, I have a link here in the description so you can find this professional power supply on Amazon and there's other stores available, right? They can, you can buy this power supply from, but it's a good idea to have a power supply that's professional, that works fine with your cameras and be careful with how many amps 
you need for your camera and also the distance you're installing your camera. There is more video about distances here. If you take a look at the channel, you're gonna find information about how to calculate or to use a table. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up, your comments, and also hit the bell notification so you can receive more information about videos like that and you don't miss any one of them, right? So I see you in the next video.